Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building my brother his very first custom mechanical keyboard. Now, the keyboard we are going to be building is the SK87 Hot Swappable RGB Kit. Now the keycaps we will be using are the Mod Key Deep Blue keycaps and the switches we'll be using is the Aqua CS Ocean Blue. As you can tell, his favorite color is blue and it goes very well with the black case that we chose. Now this is the wired variant, but if you have the Bluetooth variant, I won't be talking about anything dealing with Bluetooth. So now that we've got that all underway, I wanted to talk about what the kit actually comes with. So the package includes the PCB, the plate, play mounted stabilizer, a black case, and a braided USB cable. This keyboard also uses USB type C and the cable is detachable. This also comes with a switch puller and a keycap puller as well, which is very nice to see considering the switch puller that it comes with is very, very good and you shouldn't need anything other than that one. Now I believe the stabilizers that come on this keyboard are Everglide stabilizers, which are very good if you add lube to them which means you won't have to worry about swapping out the stabilizers either because this one comes with very, very nice stabilizers. Now the price ranges from $74.45 to $99.95 depending on whether or not you get the Bluetooth variant or the wired variant. Now this also comes with foam inside the case. I saw this video saying that you have to open up the case and remove the sticker to apply it to the PCB but I could not get the case open for the life of me. I tried everything I could, but since the case is made out of ABS plastic, it does scratch easily. So I wasn't gonna take any risks or chances to maybe scratch the case on accident while trying to open this up. So I just left it as it is, which also means you cannot lube the stabilizers or take some of them out because the foam is blocking them. Now, what I did to compromise for this is I used a syringe to lube them and honestly, it's not the most recommended method to do, but if you do wanna know how to do it, I'll be leaving a link on the top right corner to watch the video. And for these stabilizers, it actually worked very, very well and I was very happy to see that as I was kind of worried that they wouldn't turn out as good as they did. Now, I will say overall, this case does sound a little bit hollow, but it's not super hollow and it doesn't sound bad at all. I really like how everything came together. It fits the blue theme. One thing I would like to mention is that the PDF instructions for this keyboard is not in English, neither is the installer for the software. So if you can somehow get through it, I was kind of worried I was clicking the wrong buttons. So I didn't install the software, but if you do, then you can use the software that comes with the keyboard. Now what you guys are all here for, the sound test. How does this keyboard sound? It's very affordable. Let's see if it sounds good as well. Now these switches aren't lubed by the way. These are stock Aqua CS Ocean Blues. I did not lube them because personally I don't have a switch opener and I'm not very good at lubing switches at the moment since I've never done it. So I wouldn't want to try it on my brother's keyboard without trying it on a test keyboard for myself. So here's the sound test. Let me know in the comments down below if you like how it sounds. Overall, this kit is a very, very good buy, especially if you're looking for a TKL keyboard. Now there's one downside to this is that it is north facing. In the pictures on AliExpress, it shows a south facing variant, but that is not the case. The SK87 is north facing, which means you will have interference with Cherry MX profile keycaps. So please keep that in mind if you do choose to buy this keyboard kit. Other than that, everything is basically perfect for the price that you're paying. I'm honestly very happy with this keyboard that I built. And honestly, I wouldn't trade it for anything else at this price point. If you are looking to buy a keyboard or to build your own for an affordable price, I do really recommend you buy this kit. I'll be leaving everything I talked about in the description below if you do choose to buy this keyboard kit and switches and keycaps if you like the whole combo. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.